Members of Parliament today heard how a local farm easily bagged a contract worth 1.1 billion shillings to supply edible oils without applying for the tender. The damning revelations emerged as a Senate committee commenced investigations into the controversial 16.5 billion shilling edible oils scandal. Appearing before the Senate Committee on Trade and Industrialization, Chama Holding Limited Director Ruth Kinyanjui shocked the committee when she revealed that she was approached by an officer from Kenya National Trade Corporation to supply edible oils despite having never supplied such a commodity before. It was not advertised, but uh, we learned of the opportunity being as the, and we were approached by one of the KNTZ's uh, officer. Kinyanjui, who is a sole director of the local firm, disclosed that although they are part of the pre-qualified companies with KNTC, her company, which has been in existence since 2008, has never dealt in edible oils. There was a request for demonstration of capacity. You were never asked to demonstrate your capacity to import. In that email, we were asked to demonstrate your capacity to import, your tax compliance, and all those kind of things. No, they, uh, after the after that, after we offered, when we offered, we offered with our company profile what we do uh, and our offer. She says her firm was contacted through email by a KNTC officer to send their offers of price to supply edible oils, being one of their main suppliers having been supplying commodities to Kenya Police General Service Unit and the National Youth Service. The director said she has been in business for over 10 years supplying different commodities. However, the tender was the first time her company was supplying edible oils. Before the offer comes up, we have been pre-qualified. The basics have been established that you are legitimate and you have the capacity to supply. Then you have said, okay, can you then give us your offer? That's a pre a pre so you did not go through a pre-qualification. You are basically identified by somebody who knew you. There was no open pre-qualification. Adding her farm was contracted to supply 599,020 litre jerrycans of cooking oil, but they supplied 499,224 such jerrycans at a market price of $23 per jerrycan. At an exchange rate of 100 Kenya shillings to a dollar, the total cost of the tender amounts to at least 1.14 billion Kenya shillings. The request was the total amount of money paid to your company in respect of the quantities imported and supplied to KNTC. The committee now wants KNTC board to appear before them to shed light on the use of special procurement procedures.